COVID-19 has impacted many people, including people involved in the music and theater industries. In this package, I interviewed two people, Theron Kay, who is my cousin and a USC graduate who is now a music composer, and Miss Thurman, who is the Pali theater teacher. Here is Kay speaking about how composers and musicians have taken a toll because of COVID. It, it obviously affects composers, like I said, because we don't get films, but it also affects musicians, right? Because no one can play live, live concerts anymore. Right, that's kind of a huge industry. Here is Kay speaking on why getting work done at home is very difficult as a composer. Because we have to rely on doing everything at home, right? So before you could go and collaborate and go over to other people's studios if you wanted help, where it's like, hey, you're really good at this. Let's collaborate on this project. And you can't really do that anymore. So I think you, it's taking it all on yourself and doing it all at home. Here's Ms. Thurman talking about a potential future schedule for theater students at Pali. Well, um, you know, we've seen this with athletic teams. I, I think while we're still in purple, this probably won't be the case, but once we get downgraded again, um, I think finding opportunities for students to come to campus in small groups to work on things together theatrically, even if it isn't the whole class. To Here is Ms. Thurman talking about how they're still finding ways to have shows and work around the situation with COVID going around. Um, and we figured out how tech students could play sound cues from their computer in the Zoom meeting. Um, we used actors turning their cameras on and off to enter and exit. Um, and we tried to give everyone in the cast the same virtual backgrounds. The music and theater industries have both taken a toll due to COVID, but people are managing to work around it and be successful. For In Focus, I'm Vinnie Braga.